Do you have a fat face? Well, stress no longer because you've come to the right place. Call 9176 now to get fat face freed. It's safe, it's quick, and it's guaranteed. To the Batmobile, let's go. Well, it's officially Black Friday today, everybody's favorite shopping day, and Bloomon is coming through with those major discounts. One Bloomon product, you get it for 20% off. Two or more products are 30% off. And if you buy three products, you get the 30% off and a limited Black Friday only Bloomon Essentials toiletry bag included for free. We're never gonna be selling this Bloomon Essentials grooming bag. Um, it's a Friday exclusive, so there's some serious value in this bundle. If you wanna take advantage of some Bloomon, Black Friday deals up to 30% off in the free bag. Uh, check out bloomon.com. I've got it linked down below. Now there's a lot of content out there about methods you can do to achieve a stronger jawline, but there's really much focus on the haircut itself. And in my opinion, your hair plays the biggest role in providing a stronger face structure and is also the easiest method to achieve this. So there's a couple factors to take into consideration. First, your face shape uh, plays a strong role in the best hairstyle for your jawline and making your face structure just more prominent and your hair type and texture, how thick it is, how thin it is, these two factors play a big role. Let's start with hair type and texture. Generally speaking, the shorter that guys go on the back and the sides, the more slimming it is to their face. That's why you know the short back and sides, the undercuts um, have been popular way back and they're still popular now and I'm willing to bet they're gonna be popular into the future. It's a very flattering hairstyle for guys' face for the most part. But how short you should go on the sides and the back, that really comes down to your hair type and texture. For example, I get asked fairly often why I don't really experiment with growing out the sides and the back that much. Um, I usually keep it a bit shorter and it's for a simple reason. Because my hair is so thick, the more it starts growing out on the sides, the more block-shaped my face becomes. It becomes more and more wide and brick-like because my hair grows outwards rather than laying down nice and soft. And because of that, the shorter that I keep my hair uh, at the sides and the back, the sharper my jawline is gonna look. Of course, I need to balance the shortness on the sides with the amount of volume I have on top because at no point do we want that paintbrush effect. To show this poofing effect in action, let's take a look at Philip DeFranco. From what I can tell, Philip has very similar hair to me, a very similar hair type, it's just way shorter. I think Philip is a great YouTuber I tune in a couple times a week, but I just don't think that his hair is doing him any favors. Phil's hair is thick, and like I mentioned, uh, this translates to rigid, poofy sides when they're growing out, adding to that blocky effect. Just take a look at this picture, which shows him with his normal hairstyle, and then this picture where he's gone much shorter on the side. To me, this gives a softer finish and just looks generally better with that thicker hair type. Now, if your hair is naturally soft, which usually means that the individual hair strands are thinner, you have more options and sometimes having longer hair on the sides looks better. That's because a softer hair type can actually make your facial features stronger and more prominent because of the contrast. You got soft, flowy hair contrasting against you know, the angles of your facial structure. Take two YouTubers and the men's lifestyle world here on the platform, Jordan O'Brien and Dre Drexler. Both of these guys are terrible human beings and no, okay, no, they're great. You guys, are, you're great. Both YouTubers have tried short sides and long sides and this works with their face shape because of their hair type. The longer sides look great and complement the overall facial structure because the hair itself is flowy and not rigid. And that's a big reason why I think that Zayn Malik's grown out hairstyle just doesn't work nearly as well for him as the shaved sides. His hair is thicker and therefore keeping it tight works best. Now let's talk about face shapes and this is actually really simple. I'm gonna break it down real nice and simple. If you have clear definition in your face, a strong jawline, don't worry about if it's diamond shaped, square, where, you know, triangle, you can get away with most hairstyle options, plain and simple. But if your face is on the rounder side or if you um, just naturally lack some definition and you want to uh, emphasize more definition, you wanna stay away from hairstyles that are too long on the sides and too short on the sides. Of course, I've got examples. Here's Jonah Hill with an even amount of hair all around. Because he naturally has a rounder face shape, his hairstyle just adds to this roundness. But then check him out with super short sides, and even though the hairstyle is very different, a similar effect occurs. And this is because when it's super short on the sides, his round face shape just continues. There's not enough structure provided from his hairstyle to create sharper angles on his face. But then take a look at this. This is spot on. His hair on the sides is not too long, 
long or too short and match that with the extra length at the top and he just looks transformed. Of course, the beard does help too. We'll get into that in a second. I actually believe the same stuff applies to Brad Pitt. Obviously, there's no denying that Brad Pitt has a very masculine face, but uh, especially as he's aged, there's no denying that his facial features are more soft and actually more round than they are sharp and rigid. Now, I know everyone loved his undercut, but the same thing seems to be happening. There's not enough structure coming from his hair, making his face look more round. Compare that look with this one, and all of a sudden, he's just looking overall sharper. And since we're talking about how hair can help, it wouldn't be fair not to mention facial hair because facial hair can have some dramatic impacts on your facial structure as well. Just to give you a quick example, we've got a Bloom on Facebook community member participating in No Shave November. Uh, I got his permission to use this picture and to me, the beard just adds a whole new level of facial structure. So if you can grow facial hair, you're trying to figure out how to make your face look a bit sharper, I definitely recommend experimenting and see what might work for you. Again, Black Friday deals, they're going on right now, bloomon.com, and they're going on through Wednesday, November 28th. I've got a link down below, some discounts that we never give ever is happening right now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you found this helpful, and I'll see everybody next time.